If you think about all the major conservation efforts in the world, most of them have started because of great footage or a classic picture. I honestly believe in my heart that the only way we're going to save penguins is to introduce them to the mass public. Renowned wildlife cameraman Brad Bestelink has come to film with Honey Bun. Um, you're going to see about the pace that she walks. I mean, funny little tummy. <laughs> Not many people get to see a pangolin tummy. She's no. quicker. Yeah, she's real she really quick. Moves, I mean, she's already uh, done. Brad is ready to give Honey Bun her close up. But that's easier said than done. Stick with us. It's a lot harder work than I thought. Yeah. And moving incredibly quickly through the bush, and we've got to really scratch around to keep up. <laughs> It may be tricky work, but filming a pangolin so at ease is a privileged opportunity. I spent the best part of 20 years in the bush. I've seen three in my lifetime, twice when I was filming, once when I was a child. It's just great to spend a little bit of time with, with a pangolin, just getting on with its normal life. You know, it's just uh, so unusual, it's really special. The power of these rare images can't be overestimated. But it is Honey Bun's recent collaboration with Angela Baby that could have the biggest impact of all. He's called Mi Bun. He's two years old. He's a little bit of 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 a little bit in just the first day. He was born in the wild, but he was born by the human beings. Let every baby in the wild be happy and peace in the wild. Oh, he's very happy. He's very happy. He's very happy. Honey Bun may not know it, but she's now a global ambassador for her kind. But even as the campaign is making waves around the world, day-to-day -day life for this celebrity remains the same. The seasons are changing. Spring rains are on the way. Our oh, honeymoon loves this time of year. So she's going to be going much deeper. She's going to be finally able to get into those ant eggs which are full of nutrients. It's actually really nice to anticipate how she's going to look in a couple of months. She's going to gain some weight and she's going to gain some length and she's going to turn into a young adult. As Honey Bun grows up, she will reveal more precious secrets about her species. But there will come a time for her to leave Maria and live as a wild animal. In order to prepare her for the wild, we start pulling back. And it's not just a physical way of pulling back, it's also a mental way of pulling back. I've got to start letting her go. HP, what are you doing? She's actually digging a deep hole, even deeper. This is all really great preparation for her, going back out into the wild. As the sun starts to set, she's realizing she needs to prepare for the night. If she were in the wild, she'd go to sleep here tonight. 
she's growing up and she's becoming more and more independent of me. And in a way it's kind of sad and in a way it's really exciting. So, uh, you know, it's, it's all about that, that day that I'm going to say, you know, hey babe, you're on your own. If the penguin went extinct in the wild, I failed. And if we're going to fail on that, then what else are we going to fail on? Not, not on my watch. Not on my watch.